Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So I hope you don't mind, but I'm actually painting right now as I'm recording this audio. I really wanted to touch on color palette today because I get a lot of questions about like, how do you choose colors? Um, how do you, you know, figure out what works together? And it's actually something that I struggled with for a long time. I never really knew you know how a piece would come together I would just kind of do my sketch and paint it and then if it turned out good I'd be like great that was that was awesome and then other times I would paint and I'd be like something doesn't look right doesn't feel right just not as enjoyable and I realize now a lot of the time that that would happen is because I didn't plan out my color palettes and I often don't plan my color palettes and I just kind of go with it. Over the past couple weeks I've been thinking about how I would make this video and I realized that I do actually sometimes plan out my color palettes and those are typically the illustrations that are the easiest for me to paint and the easiest for me to like because I don't always like my work either um, and often when I'm doing work for clients the colors are very carefully chosen because um, the client is obviously looking for a certain outcome I think part of the problem with me is that I just become very impatient sometimes and I just like want to get it done or um, I just I really enjoy painting so I don't like to spend that much time sketching and planning and all that but I do think it's important um, I think I have learned a lot that color palettes really what can make or break your art and can define your style and you know draw the viewer's eye to your artwork As I've been doing this um, little Christmas challenge over on Instagram, I've been doing a 30-day Christmas challenge um, because I want to have some artwork for my cards next year because this year I didn't actually like plan them out that much and I ended up using a lot of work that I did last year, which was perfectly fine. Um, but I think I tend to lose track of time and then I get to Christmas and I'm like, oh, I have no... I have nothing new to show, so I figured, you know, it would help me get in the holiday spirit. As I've been doing this Christmas challenge, I realized that I found a color palette that I just really, really love. And I don't know if I just like found it by fluke or if I planned it out. I think it was a bit of both, but um, I've been using a lot of like pink, a sort of teal, navy blue color, a light blue, um, a red, and then like a brown or gold. Um, and I've just been really enjoying that color palette, so I'm kind of like wearing it out uh, in these Christmas illustrations that I'm doing. If you're struggling with it, something that really helps is to look at other artwork and see what stands out to you the most. And if you're overthinking it, it helps to kind of like squint your eyes. If you're looking at a wall of art, for example, 
um, just squint your eyes and see what pops out to you like do, in the first second you know like don't overthink it just in the first second what pops out to you and often for me I'm very drawn to like pinks and blues and greens oranges um, and I, as you probably know if you know my illustration style that's just kind of the colors that I tend to use a lot and I think that's really the great part of like finding your own style is like you know when you find something that you really love you kind of know there will be people out there who love it too basically I think um, if you're stuck on color palettes personally I would say don't worry too much about the color wheel like I don't I don't find it helpful to be very technical um, and maybe that is just the way that my brain works and maybe your brain works differently, but Just kind of look at artwork and look at photos and look, you know, in life when you go for a walk or um, To the store like if something's catching your eye just start to Like frame it in a different way. You know, what's drawing me to that? Uh, why is that? Um, why does that stand out to me as opposed to something else? And asking yourself these questions really helps to kind of clarify what your personal taste is. Because um, I think often we don't even realize, even when, you know, the colors in the clothing that you buy or the decor in your home, subconsciously you probably do have some kind of theme or common colors uh, that show up in your space. Basically what I want to say is, you know, just experiment and see what colors you like together. Um, it is helpful, I think, to learn about the color wheel, to learn about colors that kind of complement each other. Uh, but maybe, you know, don't sort of get too stuck on that because you do want to let yourself experiment and play with color and see what you like. Because even if something technically isn't supposed to go together, you know, it might suit your personal style and there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's actually really great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe if you find it helpful and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see anything specific in the near future. Um, if there's any questions that I didn't address regarding color in this video, please feel free to leave them below and I will gladly answer. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.